Well, it had to happen sooner or later. You can only hold back the tide for so long before it sweeps you away. And so it is with The Marvels, the long-awaited and much-delayed sequel to 2019's Captain Marvel, a film which finally solved the mystery of how Nick Fury lost his eye in the most satisfying and tonally consistent way possible. Mother that delivered the most charming, likeable, and relatable hero of the modern age. <laughs> that taught young girls everywhere that the only thing they need to succeed in life is to recognise their own awesomeness. Because hard work, setbacks, personal growth, and self-improvement is for losers. A film so wildly successful and popular that its main character has appeared in literally minutes of screen time over the past four years. I mean, who could forget this pivotal and completely organic moment in Endgame? I like this one. I'm really glad that Thor was able to tell us this, because nothing makes me warm to a character like another character straight up telling me how much I should like them after knowing them for a grand total of 30 seconds. It's truly the most efficient form of storytelling, you see, because then you don't have to trust your audience to form their own opinions, because those opinions might not be the ones you want them to have. And damn, talk about making a good impression on your co-stars. Every time Brie Larson did an interview with the other Avengers, you could practically feel the chemistry in the room. I did my stunts because I thought that that's what everyone did. Uh, and then... Tom, Tom Cruise over here? No, no, I'll be the first me, not the next Tom Cruise. Thank oh. you very much. Well, you wow. know, I mean... And as for the woman herself, well, you could sense how pumped she was at the prospect of doing it all again. Play Captain Marvel for I don't know. I don't know, does anyone want me to do it again? <laughs> don't be so modest. Now this is great and all, but what we really wanted to see was Captain Marvel shine in her own movie again without pesky little things like other characters holding her back. And at last, we got what we wanted. A sequel titled Captain Marvel 2 was proudly announced for release in July 2022, and then bravely delayed until November and then renamed to The Marvels, and then delayed again until February 2023, and then in a stunning and brave move, delayed again until July, and then delayed once more until November. That's okay though, because we had Ant-Man 3 to tide us over in the meantime. <laughs> And hey, all those delays could only be a good thing, right? Because it meant the studio were hard at work making the movie even better for all of us. Sure, there was a few naysayers and Debbie Downers out there spreading rumours about disastrously awful test screenings, constant script rewrites and creative differences, on-set dramas between the main actors, panicked studio interference, extensive reshoots and massive budget overruns, but we don't need to worry about that kind of thing. I'm sure that Disney Marvel have the situation well in hands. And as it happens, yesterday we finally got our first look at the cinematic masterpiece that is The Marvels. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this trailer was so good it left me literally shaking. From the absolutely killer gags, <coughs> to the unforgettable screen chemistry, We're a team. Oh no 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 no, we're not a team. We're not a team. <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? To the seamless digital effects and the brilliantly inventive premise. The general outline seems to be that the three main characters, Monica Rambeau, Kamala Khan and Carol Danvers, have somehow become entwined so that every time one of them uses their powers, they swap places with one of their counterparts. That's right, these girls are so powerful and amazing that the only thing which can possibly stop them is themselves. And personally, I think it's great to see a Marvel movie finally tackling issues that have been sorely neglected over the past five years, like female empowerment, a bunch of misfit heroes learning to work together as a team, quippy jokes, CGI battle scenes, and, uh, cats. Truly, this movie is positively brimming with new and original ideas, and I can imagine it taking the MCU in a bold and inventive new direction. But drinker, you charismatic mercurial rogue, I hear you say, why is it that Captain Marvel, supposedly the centrepiece of the movie, is barely featured in the trailer at all? Is it because the studio is well aware of how shockingly unpopular the character has been in the fanbase and is doing everything in their power to minimise her involvement? Is it because 
most of her scenes are being desperately reshot and re-edited to try and salvage something halfway decent from the absolute train wreck this film's shaping up to be? Is it because Brie Larson's Carol Danvers possesses all the charm and likability of a dog turd that's been left so long that it's got that weird white fungus growing all over it? Well, contrived devil's advocate argument that may actually have a grain of truth to it, I don't subscribe to any of those wild conspiracy theories. Captain Marvel is a beloved character, which is why our first movie was so successful, and not because it was sandwiched between two of the biggest releases in the MCU franchise, or the suspiciously large number of people who bought up blocks of exactly 100 seats in each cinema and then forgot to show up. It happens all the time, okay? And even if Captain Marvel isn't the focal point of the direct sequel to her own movie, it doesn't matter because we've got Kamala Khan and Monica Rambeau to carry this film. Yeah, so what if they were both introduced in obscure TV shows on Disney Plus that only a fraction of the Marvel audience actually watched, and so won't have a clue who they are or what their relationship to Captain Marvel is? MCU fans are smart, and the writers at Marvel are more than capable of laying out subtle hints for them to piece together. I like this one. Nailed it. So personally, I think this trailer looks absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait for November to come around, because I've got a feeling it's going to be a fun experience for all of us. <laughs> anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.